Everyone, hot cocoa mix is a popular holiday gift that you may have received from the neighbors this year. And if you're not a big hot cocoa fan, you might as well see how you can still put it to good use. Our amazing GTU producer Matt is here to show us one easy you pudding recipe. You added that line. You added that. Gotta add lib a little bit. I want to be invited like ground back. Ground nosing a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's okay. We like to have you here. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so yeah, I thought of this because my mom, growing up, got all these hot cocoa mixes, and mm -hmm. I was like. We need, I, I'm not a huge hot cocoa fan, and so that's why I was like, we need to come up with a better way to use this so it doesn't just sit in the pantry. And For like years? Yeah, and then get thrown away when you're like, oh, this expired in 2020. <laughs> Bad year for all of us. Okay, so. that looks pretty good. Did you make that? Yes. So that, okay. that's this. It doesn't look as pretty, but, you know, it's, okay. that was, that's why the pictures are still there because, you know, it, it tastes, tastes good. good. Okay. It's really sweet. So we'll get started. Um, it's really simple to make. I know a lot of make a lot of us make Jello out of a Jello pudding mm -hmm. out of a box. Exactly. I think this is better than that. So. Oh, so this isn't even in a <laughs> no, box. No at box. All. The only thing that we're taking really that's prepared is the actual the, the cocoa? hot cocoa mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and I just took that one. You might get them in packets, but um, so I have the recipe in both. So we're pretty right. much just going to mix all the dry ingredients into the center. And so in this one, it's about a half a cup. So this is a quarter cup. So I'll do two of these. And then is that peppermint? Cocoa? This is peppermint hot Whoa. cocoa. Yeah, yeah so you can mix see. it up a little bit. You know, wow. they've got different kinds. So, and then we got cornstarch, three tablespoons of cornstarch, make it nice wow, and thick. Wow, that's a lot. I didn't realize there was yeah, so much. Yeah, so it's kind of like a gravy okay. in a sense when you're yeah. making it. So, and then a little bit of salt there at the end, about a half two teaspoon. And then we're gonna just go right for it, and then we go ahead and mix in the milk. And so, so and you we chose added, milk. yeah, I like that. <laughs> like an extra chocolatey. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just mix that in there like that. So who Super taught you this easy. recipe, Matt? You know what, I kind of adapted a recipe I found online because I was like, I don't wanna make jello pudding out of a box. And I'm like, that's kinda cool. I have lots of that in my in my <laughs> pantry, so might as well use that. And then this, you can vary it, right? Where, what if you have a big party and you want to double it or, or yeah, make as much as you want? Yeah, it's super easy to, I mean, it, obviously you're limited to the size of the pan, mm -hmm. um, but you know, you could easily double it if you have something bigger. Cause really, it's just straightforward. You're really just heating up the, the milk and then also the egg yolk. So that's what I also want Wanted to show a really cool thing right here. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna show you once and then I'm gonna make Ro put him to work here. Okay, let's so do that. So I am terrible at separating yolks from eggs. Uh oh. There so we what go. is this trick? So this is a an egg yolk separator. No way. Have you ever no. seen these? Really? I got these on Amazon this for like here. six dollars. Okay. And this is the best six dollars ever. So <laughs> oh, I kind of I kind of see because I broke the egg, but you can just kind of like turn it around in there and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna basically get the egg yolk into that, and then you're just gonna put each one of those in there. Okay, so, so we're separating, you just want the yep. yolk part. So, okay. and, and I can help you too. We, if you want it, we'll all you crack an egg if you want. Okay. Might as well, okay. yeah, well, let's go ahead and okay, crack this I'm egg. Do it in here. We'll do and one. This is there we the, go. The that cool one was a lot better. Just yeah, so yeah, 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 there you go. You don't so, get yeah. the shells in there with your contraption. E exactly. So that's another thing because I know I, my sister that bakes a lot. Her and my niece they they like to do this little method with uh, mixing it um, with like going back and forth inside mm -hmm. the egg. I think that's the pro way to do it. Oh, I'm not a pro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So that's that's I'll why we don't that do that. Real quick yep. Too. Oh yep. And let's get that one there. Awesome. Three's a pro. So she Here got go. it. Perfect. And we'll wipe off those hands. And then really we're just going to whisk that until it heats Thank up. You. So it's you know it's starting to actually go. Right Right now, which is spoon? great. Yeah, let's actually. I only grabbed you a serving spoon. Mm -hmm. That's, I knew I forgot something. What, so, what can you do? but yeah. So once like we have that? the four egg yolks in there, um, I'm actually going to just borrow one of your spoons. There spoons, we right? go. So we're just going to break up okay. those eggs the in there, one. and you can also, yeah, you can use a, a whisk. That's also mm -hmm. pretty helpful. Just make sure it's heat rated because you don't want it melting. Mm -hmm. So did you say um, you, you wanted to, to get boil? This to boil. Okay. You are going to get this to a boil. Okay. And then once it's at a boil, we're going to, so you just kind of have to break apart so some of those egg yolks. Some um, people prefer to break apart all the egg yolks and mix it together, then pour it in. It, it, I, I made it this way last night and it seemed to turn out okay. So it yeah, tasted it's just, fine. You want an so, extra step or you don't want an extra exactly. step. Exactly, yep. So once we get it to that point, it, we're gonna kind of use some TV magic here because also we oh, are short on time. So we do also oh, just the mention butter. the butter is also gonna go in there. I won't bother putting it in there just because it's not quite heated up yet. You wanna get it to boiling, take it off of the burner once it's to that point, mm -hmm. and then put in the butter and the, the the Hershey's the bar. However, okay, what about this? This is vanilla? Oh, that's going to go in go with in? the, yeah, that's going to go in right now. Yep, okay. with that. So, oh, that's great. Yep. So many different options. It looks like it's something that I can't mess up. So that's yeah. why I love it. Yep, <laughs> it's it's super easy. So really, we're just going to reserve like a little piece of that mm -hmm. for, for later for shavings. And then really, we're just going to have these, if you want to help break those apart. Yeah. 
We're gonna break those apart basically, and then once that's off the burner, it's just gonna kind of melt that chocolate, the butter, give it that creamy texture that we're now looking it's for. Like hot yeah, cocoa it's and starting the to yeah. look. Yeah, it looks like hot cocoa. Yeah. That's what's that's funny, but I guess it is partially <laughs> hot cocoa. But so. somehow it hardens in the refrigerator. Is that the yeah? So end that's result? kind of the trick, and that's where we'll go over here. Is mm -hmm. if we grab this and we'll have you try it as well. Okay, so let's do this, it. I'll just go ahead and show this to them so they can see. So the trick is, is you don't want that. There's a film that would form on top of this. So when you put it in the fridge, put it in a layer of saran wrap on top of it, so it takes away, you know, and try to get as much of the air out of it so that it forms mm -hmm. the film. Right. There, you don't want those little bits. Yeah. In there. You don't want that little, okay. yeah, gross stuff. So that's what it is. So we'll have you guys try okay, it right row. there. Okay, And then you. how long in the refrigerator would About you say? About two to four hours or overnight. I actually okay. liked it overnight. A little Thanks. bit better because it gets it nice and cold and a little bit firmer, that oh, firm yeah, pudding okay. texture. So, that you can also put those chocolate shavings, that's what we oh, would reserve that for. Mm. So, it's a lot chocolatier, chocolatier than. Wow, it's so jello chocolatey. Pudding. That's right. It is really good, Matt. So, right? Nice the consistency, the texture. And now you have everything. something to use or, or make with that. Yeah. Dozens of those that you get. Bro, this everybody. is you. This <laughs> is delicious. This is so good. This is my jam. So first thing in the morning, Dina, cover your ears. Yep. First thing in the morning, get up, make this. Got it. Perfect. Yep. Sugar. Piece That's of cake. Piece of cake. All right. You can have the recipe is on our website. Yep, that we'll QR have it on the website. Code. All right. We're